Chapter 1. An injured lion still wants to war. If I were to compare myself to something, it would be a turtle. I say that I am a turtle because I might be losing at first, but if you look away, I'll pass you. My personality is always finding ways to get better, even if I don't have the right characteristics. Chapter 4. The Parent Lottery My parents both came to America at a young age and didn't know any English. My mom came to America from Guatemala when she was 16 and had a hard time adjusting to her new life. She knew if she wanted to succeed in school, she had to learn English, so she did. My mom found ways to overcome her language barrier and adjust to the new culture. After high school, she faced many trials and hardships. Many years later, she met my dad and they had me and my brother. She decided that she wanted a better life for me and my two brothers, so she went back to college. My mom wanted to become a teacher because she is passionate about teaching others. After all the trials and hardships she faced in school, my mom graduated from Cal State Fullerton in 2009, and I am very proud to call her my mom. My dad came to this country from Mexico when he was just five years old. He also did not know very much English and often struggled in school. What he lacked in school, he made up for with his athleticism. He was a very strong man, winning many awards for baseball, soccer, football, and even wrestling. My parents have been a great aspect in my life because they support me and pick me up when I am struggling, and I thank them for that. Chapter 7. I Never Made to the NFL We all have dreams that we hope to achieve one day in the future, but some of us fall short on our dreams due to lack of determination or teaching. When I was on the basketball team, the coaches wouldn't play me one second during the games. My coach really made me question if I was good enough to play. But it was my dad who answered those questions. He would always tell me something that strengthened my determination. My dad was my coach when my coach was not showing me the way. He is like a mentor to me. I used his words and displayed it during practices. Although I didn't play a lot, I learned a very valuable lesson from my dad. That lesson was to not let people tell you how to live your life and to find your own strength. Chapter 11, the happiest place on earth. For me, my happiest place on earth is not somewhere in particular. My happiest place on earth is wherever I am with friends and family. I am a person who loves to have fun and the most fun I have is when I am with loved ones. There are many things I could have chosen, but I chose this one because I could truly call this place happy. I believe that no place is truly happy unless you have people to enjoy it with. Chapter 21, J. In our life, it is vital for us to have someone who betters us as a person and helps you face the many obstacles of life. For me, that person is my brother Carlo. My brother is only 17 years old, but he has still taught me many things. When me and my brother were very young, all I wanted to do was copy him. I would dress like him, follow him, walk, talk, etc. He did not like that. As we got a little older, we developed a competitive spirit between each other. My mom introduced us to basketball and we both immediately fell in love with it. We would play one-on-one -on -one pickup games, but of course he would always win because he was not just older. He was stronger, faster, and smarter. To this day, I have a hard time beating him, but he has challenged me to become better than great. Although we fight a lot, my brother Carlos has shown me how to be stronger and courageous. Chapter 28, Dream Big. Although most of the times, adults enforce rules to keep us safe and well-mannered, there are times when adults are ridiculous and unorthodox. A tip I would give to an adult is to let the youth have some fun because we are only young once. Also, adults should have some fun too because they never know when they are going to leave this earth. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. It is our human nature to set goals and accomplishments for ourselves. But when our goals are not met, we tend to give up and not see our goals through. Not giving up is one of, if not, the hardest things to do. 
When I was in seventh grade, I was on the school's basketball team. It was the day before our first game, and we were practicing. I was going out for the ball, and I slipped, landing on my wrist. I broke my wrist and couldn't play for the rest of the season. When I was recovering, I remember telling my dad that I would train hard to make up for missed time. The next year came, and I had a great season. When I was down, I had to find a way to bounce back and not give in. Like I had said before, not giving up is one of the hardest challenges in our life to overcome, but we must stay faithful to our teachings and not admit defeat. Chapter 56 Make a Decision Tigger or Eeyore Everybody in this world has a different personality. Some are calm like Eeyore and others are bouncy like Tigger. In my opinion, I resonate more with Tigger because I like to see things in a more positive way. I like to walk away or ignore people who are negative and bring me down. Because in the long run, they will set me back. I feel like if you live your life with negativity like Eeyore, then we are truly not living life to the fullest. Sometimes it is hard to find positivity. That is why we should always try to see the better things in life, even in ugly situations. I choose to be a Tigger because those people are the ones who enjoy life the most. Shine in the shade.